guys, so for today I have for you pirate deck. And well, I was surprised, but it's actually working and it's kind of cool. I like it. I always wanted to make pirate works and I also wanted to make tight that cloak hideaway work. And it's okay, it's decent. Uh, maybe it's not a metal deck, but it's a fun control deck that if you don't, if you are tired of the same uh, control Skellige decks, here is a twist. It uses a lot of the same cards, but it's going for more of the gray sword uh, YOLO approach. And you have a great finisher of Reckless Fury into Dagur or Great Sword. So how do you play it? You try to win uh, round one, and you really want to win round one with all of your uh, bronzes. And for this, you have a lot of ships and Demon Corsair. You might consider adding another Demon Corsair instead of one tight cloak hideaway, but I just wanted to have two because I, I like this card. I want to, this card to work. It's not great. Uh, it's most of the time like six, seven for five. So if you want to make it more competitive, cut one of the uh, tight cloak hideaway and add Demon Corsair instead. But it's fine as well at the, as it is. Uh, Demon Core Pirate is here only because it's Pirate, but it sucks. Uh, anyway, so you want to win the round one with your Pirates and with your ships. And you, you can use both Grey Swords even. Uh, it's fine. And then you want to go for uh, round three with all of your golds. And ideally, you have a last save. If your opponent is heavy on control, and it's most of the case, most of the time in the current meta it is like this, uh, you want to hold Dagur <coughs> as a last save and uh, you want to use it with uh, Leader for a 20 point play. Uh, and that's it. If you notice that your opponent cannot easily remove everything, you can set up like Great Sword as well with like Harald, Bat Eagle earlier and on the like few rows. And you can get a big Wild Boar of the Sea as a last say or Morgvar. Uh, and it will just give you a lot of points. Also, ships in round three can also give you a lot of points. And Holger is actually quite okay. It's a nice proactive play because it's a control deck, so you have a lot of reactive tools. And Holger is one of these easy to to, to just slam uh, proactive cards. It's uh, it's decent in long short rounds. It's decent in long uh, rounds. You can just drop him. Also, if people might uh, remove him. So they will waste uh, the removal on it instead of like gray swords. Uh, and six, it's not that easy to remove. So you can just drop him. All of your ships will be bigger. All of your pirates will deal some damage, which is quite nice. Uh, I have here devotion because I actually, some of the pirates are warriors as well, uh, like new ones as well. So it's, I think it's a good way to add some pirates to this deck. So it's a little bit better. Uh, if you want more consistency, you can add on Aeromancy, but I tried it and I feel that this version is a little bit better. It's fun, it's cool, it uses some of the cards from regular Skellige, so it shouldn't, if you already play like meta decks, it shouldn't be that hard to craft, and it's fun. So you should give it a go. Thank you very much for watching, I will see you of course next time, and we'll see you then as well. Bye!